Welcome back to News 5 at 6 o'clock. In tonight's What's Working, the only family shelter in Mobile County is having success helping families get on their feet. It's the Salvation Army's Family Haven. News 5's Devin Walsh has more. So this is a new place. Yeah, this is my new place. Inez Johnson is proud to show off her new house. Okay, the living room. Where she lives with her two children, nine-year-old Makaira. Yes, I like my little place. And baby Moana. Makaira room where she want her frozen. It's more space than she's ever had. This is the kitchen. And she's able to pay her own bills. It feels great though. It's not like having your own, you know, just keep it up. Three months ago. I think we were at capacity. If, if not, we had maybe two empty rooms. Johnson was living here. This is kind of like how my room was set up. At the Salvation Army's Family Haven. When you walk in my room, I had the twins set, but they was turned like this way. She showed us her small room. It gave me a peace of mind that me and my children had a roof over our head. Right now, 15 families are staying here at the only family shelter in the area. But Executive Director Carl McNatt says the goal is to find them housing as quickly as possible. And that's happening for a lot of families. The fact that we're here to help them, not do things for them. Um, our goal is to empower them to be independent, not to create dependency um, while they're here. The family haven just opened in October. And since then, 44 families have lived here. Of those, 75% have been able to move out and find their own housing. I really believe we had for him, them, no telling where we would have been. Once Johnson returned to work as a nursing assistant, she could afford to rent a house. It's been, a, I guess you could say, from bad to good to better. She's just thankful for the Salvation Army's family haven for helping her family when she didn't have anywhere else to turn. For What's Working, I'm Devin Walsh.